Hey guys, Coach here with this week's Plant of the Week. Hey, I'd like to introduce you to the Sweet Broom, sometimes called Eastern Broom. Uh, this one particular, this one particular is the gray-green foliage, very soft texture when young. And its main claim to fame is its bright, profuse yellow blooms in the springtime. After that, it's basically a gray-green shrub. So you will get intermittent blooms throughout the year, but its main push is in springtime. Very tolerant, a lot of different soils. It does not like to be overwatered. It does not like its uh, feet sticking in a lot of water. So water when you get that second knuckle test, you get a little dry bone there, then you can go ahead and water it again. It really responds well to feeding late winter and just before it starts popping. Do the pruning, shearing, or however you want to keep it after the bloom period, and it'll flush out new growth and some new bloom again for you. Western Sweet Broom, also known as Cytisus racemosa, and you can find it almost anywhere except up in the northern climates. This one here is kind of a uh, down to zero, and then below zero, it doesn't do really well. So zone seven to nine type of thing. Yep, Sweet Broom, a beautiful old time favorite that I used to sell at the nursery way back in the 70s. Man, I just dated myself, didn't I? Anyway, I hope you can find it. If it fits you, you can generally figure on about a six foot type shrub, unless you keep it shorter and six by six. Maybe a backdrop plant if you have big beds or a screen between you and the neighbor, it will get big. It does enjoy water during the heat of the summer. I hope you can find it and use it in your landscape. Hey, I'm Coach. If you get something out of this, give it a like, would you please? And check out the rest of the channel as well. A lot of good landscape education there. Thanks for stopping by. Bye for now.